this is Brian. And I'm Logan. And this is Tops. Sup. And this is Bottoms. <gasps> Sup. And this is Triple. Sup. Avocado for hire. Try Brigade. I need a job. Hire me. Okay, please. Wow. And we're Fresh Cards. Hi, team. Happy Monday, my ferocious friends for hire. Oh, boy. Have we got a doozy today. So now that Phantom Rage is legal, the tri Brigades are one of the most anticipated archetypes out of it, and they blend well with so many different decks. Most content creators right now are focusing on the Zodiac version, as that is the most competitive version. But we feel that Zodiac has been around for like four or five years now, or something like that. Everyone knows what Zodiac does, and everyone knows exactly what the two engines do together. So we wanted to cover a couple different things throughout the next few days. I feel like we say this all the time, but for hire has a special spot in our hearts because it's one of the first decks that we ever actually picked up, along with Layer of Darkness, Zombies, and Counter Fairies. This is not really a competitive deck, this is more of like a tier 3, tier 4 deck, but it's definitely a very, very budget-friendly option, which is something that we wanted to focus on today. And before anyone asks, don't worry, Bottoms is going to update his Melfi deck, and it's going to be Tri Brigade Melfi. It's coming, don't worry, right, Bottoms? Yeah, it's a new deck, new build, it's going to kick everyone's Okay, that's enough. Thank you, Bottoms. We don't need any of that potty talk in here, but just so you know, it's coming. But before we get into this deck, if you guys are not already a subscriber, feel free to go down, hit the subscribe button, throw this video a like, and comment your favorite OG cartoon show that you used to watch when you were a kid. Brian really likes Beast Wars, if you can't tell by the mask. Let us know what you used to watch as a kid. We also have an Instagram, it's at CrushCardsYGO. We're on there all the time, posting posts, answering messages, posting stories. Feel free to come say hi. It's a good time. Also, if you entered the giveaway from Phantom Rage, you're going to need to be there, so make sure you're following us on Instagram. Wink. We also have a Super wholesome Discord community. It's absolutely boppin'. It's a great time. We have a Battle Royale tournament going on right now. We Photoshop the alpacas onto things. And then last but not least, if you want to further support the channel, we have a Patreon. Bloopers for last month just went up. There are 11 minutes of pure hilarity. We have merch. We have deck building sessions, dueling sessions, you name it. It's there. Feel free to check it out if you want to help out, but don't worry. If not, that's okay. I'm just happy you're here. And Monday we'll be updating all the side decks for all the decks that we've done in the last couple days. But anyway, with all that being said, let's actually talk about the deck and Woo! stuff. Shoot. So starting off with our Fur Hire monsters, we are playing double copies of the in archetype boss monster, which is Raphael Champion for Hire. This card is absolutely ridiculous because it says if this card is special summon, you can excavate the top cards of your deck equal to the number of monsters for hire you control with different names except this card. And if you do, add one of them to your hand. Also, shuffle the rest back into your deck. So this card just helps you dig for another card. And then it's additional interruption because when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can discard a card for hire and then negate the activation of that card. So it's a cool interruption. It's the boss monster. You don't need to play this card at three because you can search this card relatively easily in all the deck searching that you do and we try to play a lot of turbo cards to get through your deck as fast as possible and then moving on to all of our little for hires we are playing triple copies of the best normal summon which is beat bladesman for hire we apologize that it's the ultra rare we had the secrets but at one point about a year ago the secrets went up to like 20 bucks a copy and we just sold them value but for anyone who doesn't know anything about the for hire strategy all of the little guys have the same exact effect where you can special summon one monster for hire during your main phase and then once that summon resolves you actually get an additional effect so beat is the best one because beat allows you to special summon a monster for hire from your hand and then once it's successful you get to search any monster for hire from your deck to your hand i don't know if beats like a porcupine or a hedgehog or something it was like a little weird bunny he does he looks like a bunny rabbit but he's definitely i think, I think he's a, a porcupine porcupine yeah, i don't know but little, he definitely has a little bunny like, face yeah he's got like like all these little like spikes and yeah, scales on the back yeah. of him wow that was a cool angle look at that oh his eyes been, are like, glowing Beat Woo! bunny blazeman for hire. But I mean, <laughs> porcupine's cool, I guess, because blades. I don't know, whatever. So obviously we're playing the Tri Brigade engine in this deck, so a lot of these cards require them to be beast, winged beast, or beast warriors. Beat does not fit into that because beat is a warrior, but that is good because we can play Roto, which we are, to search beat. So we are playing four copies of our best normal summon. And then moving off, we are playing three copies of the best extender in the deck, which oh, is Philo Messenger point. for hire. It's like a little chicken or oh, something. Cutie pie. Now, I think he, that maybe is a chicken. I don't know anymore. It's something. They're ambitious. But Philo, as the other ones, allows you to special summon a monster for hire from your hand, and then when you do, you get to special summon a for hire monster from your graveyard back to your side of the field. So, really, really good extension. Allows you to get more bodies on field. This deck used to blind second, believe it or not. We have a very, very old, outdated profile on the channel, which we can link right up here for you guys if you are very, interested. Very, old. Like, one of the first things that ever went up. But this Tri Brigade version actually allows the deck to kind of go first, too. So, it's really cool. And, once again, Philo is a winged beast, so it plays in with our Tri Brigade archetype. Yeehaw. And then we have 
playing triple copies of Dampa Marksman for hire. Dampa is really cool because Dampa, once you special summon a monster, allows you to pop a face up card on the field. The unfortunate side is this is kind of like a rogue deck, as we said, tier three, tier four. So it does target and it does require you to like not have any of these things negated. So it's a cool effect. It's a really, really good card. It does trigger your fall goal in your extra deck. But once again, Dampa is a beast. So it helps out with our beast family. Then we are playing two copies of Seal Strategist for hire. You can make an argument that Seal could be played at three, but we are playing some turbo cards to get Seal out because Seal is a beast warrior. Oh my wow. God. It's almost like we can search this card. Wow. Same thing as all the other fur hires. If you special summon a monster for hire from your hand, Seal allows you to add back any fur hire monster that's in your graveyard back to your hand. I don't know what the hell he is. He's yeah. like a. I, he's not a I, seal. He's, <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> he's definitely not definitely a seal. He has legs. Uh, I don't know. And then moving off into the last monsters for hire we were playing, we were playing the one copy of Recon Scout for hire and then Bravo Fighter for hire. Recon, that's a cool name. Yeah, Recon is kind of your counterpart to Dampa because Recon pops set cards, whereas Dampa pops face up cards. Yes, it does target. And then Bravo is probably one of the best cards in the deck because it allows you to go for OTKs where you can have all monsters for hire currently on the field to gain 500 attack until the end of this turn. I'm starting to think these aren't even real animals anymore. They're just like, what the hell is that? Like, it's a <laughs> like, what are you, a lizard? It's like, like yeah. What are you? You look like a like a fox thing. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what zoo they were looking at when they were looking for these animals, but the designs are confusing. Along with the fur hires also being different types, a lot of them are different attributes as well. So you can do a lot of really cool different plays with that, and you can side deck some really cool things. Once again, side decks will be on Patreon, so feel free to check those out. And then moving on into our Tri Brigade engine, we're playing double copies of Tri Brigade Frack. Tarl, I think is how you say that name. Oh boy, more good names. Tri Brigade Kiraz at two, Kiraz. and also two copies of Tri Brigade Nerval. The common. Sick. This is a really, really interesting engine because they all have the same exact effect where you can banish any number of beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monsters in your graveyard and then special summon one winged beast, beast, or beast warrior link monster from your extra deck with a link rating equal to the number of banished cards. Also, you can only use beast, beast warriors, and winged beast monsters as link material for the rest of the turn. So it's kind of cool. It's good to note that that is actually an activated effect on field. So you can't activate that in the graveyard, which is something that I initially thought when these cards got released, but it's okay. And then they all have their secondary effects. Fractal allows you to discard it to send any level three or lower beast, winged beast, or beast warrior monster from your deck to your graveyard. Karaz allows you to discard one winged beast, beast warrior, or beast monster to special summon itself. And then Tri Brigade Nerval, when it's sent to the graveyard, you get to add one Tri Brigade monster from your deck to your hand. So realistically what the combo would be is that Fractal would send himself to the graveyard along with Nerval, and then Nerval would search Karaz, and then Karaz would ditch anything in your hand to special summon himself, and now you have the activated ability of all your Sky Brigade monsters. Wasn't the Fur Hire archetype originally called something like Sky Brigade? I think it was, which is like, cool. Now they've got Tri Brigade. I don't know if they Sky did that. Brigade, like, yeah, Tri Brigade. Tri Brigade. Are they all Cute. part of the same brigade, the same ambiguous animal brigade? These are definitely way darker. Like these are not oh, yeah. as cute as the yeah. other ones. These are like the the underworld kind of. I mean, they look very steampunky personally. Very, well, I mean, I like so it. do the Fur Hires. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. They're cool. All right, they're cool. And then in my honest opinion, we are playing one card that has to be in this deck, and it is Black Wing Zapros the Elite. This yeah. card is absolutely incredible. Even though you cannot send it off your Fractal, we are playing a few different ways to get this into the graveyard. For anyone who doesn't know, if this card is in your graveyard, you can return one face-up card you control to the hand, and then special summon this card, and then you take 400 points of damage. So what's really cool about this card is not only is it a winged beast, but your Fur Hire monsters special summon themselves from the hands all the time. So you can normal summon, activate the effect to special, and then activate this in the graveyard to send one of the Fur Hires back to hand get this on board and then use the second for hire to just special out the card you normal summon and now you've got three bodies on field plus you can still extend even further so i think this card is absolutely incredible in the deck and then just one of our combo pieces we are playing the one copy of mist valley apex avion this card is literally just in the gate and it helps to trigger your fall go because once per turn when a card or effect is activated quick effect you can target one mist valley beast which is itself and then return it to the hand and then if you do negate the activation and destroy the card that activated so really really good it's just a free form mitigation and you can summon this out of your deck for free. I love targeting. <laughs> Target. And then moving off into our hand traps, we're playing triple copies of Ghost Ogre for a like tier three, tier four deck. I feel like Ghost Ogre is the best choice because yes, it does allow effects to go through, but if you hit the right thing in a, like a rogue matchup, like the Needle Fiber, or even in like some meta matchups, like the Romulus, it's really hard for decks like that to recover. So getting rid of the monster is sometimes better than just stopping the monster. And then moving off into our spells, we are playing the one copy of Emergency Teleport. Wow, it's an ultimate rare. Those are a hot commodity right now. I don't think we have any other rarity of this card, but we've got like three copies of this one. Just 
just laying around, you know. Wow, what an unnecessary flex. Just kidding, we're very, we're very humble here. You don't have to play this card, but it is a really, really good extender in the deck. It just allows you to get free bodies on board, and then your main boss monster in your extra deck allows you to summon it by having three monsters with different types. So Ghost Ogre is a psychic, and it's just a free body on board to get into any of your link plays. And then for the new card out of Phantom Rage, we are playing probably one of the- <gasps> best cards I think uh, this deck could have ever seen. I love this card. I talked about it in our opening. If you want to go see the opening and under the giveaway, boink, boink. It's so cute. Look at it. Rookie for hire. Oh my god, I can't deal. Little little dump of On Philo. Philo. It is just, for a common, it's so depressing, but it's so freaking cute. He's 100% a porcupine in this Yeah, picture. definitely. I love. I think this card is so cute great effort. This card is really, really good because this card is essentially like a starter and extender and it kind of functions like called by the grave in the deck. So the reason is because this card reads that you can tribute one monster and then special summon a monster for higher from your deck whose level is one higher or one lower than the monster that you tributed. So basically how this would work is if you normal summon a monster and then your opponent in perms it is chain link two, you can activate this is chain link three to tribute the monster. Therefore your opponents in perm kind of just fizzles and you get a free body. You can't declare attacks the turn you activate this card except with monsters for higher, but the majority of our deck is for higher monsters. So this is really just an extension piece to play through interruption or to get our combo play started. So good, we love a good quick play. It's also really good to utilize on your opponent's turn to special summon monsters from your deck and then trigger some of your pop effects to trigger Balgo to draw additional cards. And then moving off into the only secret rare we know how to pull out of Phantom Rage. Oh yeah. We're playing triple copies of Tri Brigade Airborne Assault. This card is really, really interesting. I think this card has some low key meta potential. This card says target one beast, wing beast, or beast warrior monster that you control. Special summon one beast, wing beast, or beast warrior monster from your deck in defense position with a different type and with attack less than or equal than that monster, but its effects are negated until the end of the turn. Also, you can't special summon monsters from your extra deck for the rest of the turn except link monsters. You can only activate one of these, but this card is a free body. It allows you to get beast, beast warriors, and wing beast into your graveyard by just linking them off. And that link restriction doesn't really do anything because we are playing mostly link monsters in our extra deck. So this card is really, really free. It just allows you to summon. I mean, it has those magical words, special summon from the deck on it. This card is amazing and it's a quick play. It's also super overprinted. If you want to pull 17 of it, just go buy one box. You'll somehow pull 17. <laughs> And then for our search cards, we are playing triple copies of Fire Formation Tanky. I mean, this card literally just says Search Seal or Search Fractal. That's it. And then we're playing five power one ofs. We are playing our fourth copy of Beat in Rota. We're playing the one copy of Instant Fusion because it does allow us to go second, suck up a monster, or it allows us to go first and put a different typed monster on the field. We're playing our one Foolish Burial because this allows us to put any monster for hire in our graveyard so that we can add it back with Seal later, or it also allows us to put any Beast, Wing Beast, or Beast Warrior in our graveyard so that we can banish them so that we can get additional material to link with, or it also puts our Zephyros in the graveyard so we can have additional extenders. We're playing the one copy of one for one because it gets us our Nerval or it gets us our Philo. And then we were playing the one copy of Monster Reborn. For anyone who knows us, we don't like 40, we like 41. So this is our 41 card deck. If you want to cut anything, you could probably cut Foolish, but I really think Foolish has come up more than enough to justify its spot in the deck. Activate Rota, search Ray, normal summon Ray. Go to game two. <laughs> Moving up into our extra deck real quick, we are starting off with our instant fusion targets, which is our millennium eyes restrict, and then our thousand eyes restricts for going first, for going second. Everyone knows what these cards do. Wow. This eats a monster, this kinda says no to hand traps. And then just another link one, we are playing the one copy of Relinquished Anima. This just allows you to punish your opponent for summoning in a zone that is either mm. two or four, sucking up a monster and equipping it for free. <laughs> We're gonna kinda go out of order here for our extra deck, but we are playing the one copy of Ancient Warrior's Oath, the Double Dragon's Lord, and then the one copy of Samorg, Bird of Sovereignty. Now we can't technically make these, I mean we can make some more, but we cannot make the Ancient Warrior Link Monster because we don't have any Ancient Warriors in our deck. But the cool part is the Tri Brigade Monsters allow us to special summon Winged Beast, Beast Warriors, or Beast Link Monsters directly from our extra deck, basically ignoring their summoning condition. So the reason that we play this guy is because it is a quick effect to send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard and then target a face-up card that your opponent controlled and return it to the hand. So Ooh. this is like our in-archetype seal of heavenly spheres. Yeah, or like a non-generic security dragon. Yeah, and then some more, everyone knows, we can make this the easy way or we can make it the hard way, which is like linking for three, but we can also just make this off of our tri brigade effect. And this summons our Apex Avion directly from the deck, providing us an interruption. And then moving off into our tri brigade links, we are playing double copies of the link two. Of cutie Paduti, fair jit. 
Farajit, the, the the that one, and the then we're bear playing. in blossom. She's beautiful, and we love her. We're playing the one copy of the Link Three, which is a common, not the best card in the deck, and then we are playing double copies of Tri Brigade Shrag. Shrag, the ominous <laughs> omen. I Who named these cards? <laughs> Yeah, these cards are really, really kind of a pain in the butt to pronounce. I honestly don't think you need this copy. If you really want to replace this with anything else in the deck, I think something that the deck misses is like a graveyard interaction. So you can replace it with either an Abyss Dweller or another card that Konami hates for us to pronounce, which is this guy right here. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce uh, that. Uh, um, Yeah, the this desperate guy. Desperate Doom Eagle. This is basically like a Link 3 DD Crow. It just banishes quick effect from your opponent's graveyard. But I think that being a Tri Brigade deck, we're just going to play two of the boss monsters. So what these cards do is the link to Farajit is during your main phase you can special summon one level four or lower beast family monster from your hand and then as all the tri brigades do they lock you into beast beast warriors and wing beast and then it also has another effect where if this card is sent to the graveyard you can draw one card and then place one card from your hand under the bottom of your deck. The Link 3 is kind of interesting. It has like a really niche interaction with the Link 4. I honestly don't think you're going for these plays often, but it says during your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you can special summon one level 4 or lower Beast Beast Warrior or Wing Beast Monster from your hand or graveyard. Negate its effects, also return it to your hand during the end phase. So it kind of recurs resources from your graveyard back to your hand. And then if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can make all monsters your opponent currently control lose 300 attack for each monster type that you control until the end of the turn. And then Ominous Omen is probably the best one because on summon, if this card is special summoned, not even link summoned, it's just if this card is special summoned, or if another beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monster is special summoned to your field, banish one card on the field. That's non-targeting, non-destruction, wow. just banish a card on the field. Bye, That's pretty strong. And then the same thing, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monster from your deck to your hand whose level is less than or equal to the number of banished beast, beast warriors, or winged beast. They should just write beast family. MST yeah. and Tombox said yesterday in their video, beast family and I just like that so much more. Well, yeah, it's not exhausting to say. It's just like, oh, welcome to the Beast Fam. Yeah. <laughs> this is our Tri Brigade lineup. You could definitely drop this and play Abyss Dweller or something else if you want, but let's move on to the rest of the action deck. Ooh, or we could just say, like, Beast Babes. Okay, so we're playing one Best Girl IP, obviously, because she lives in my dreams and she's perfect, and then I have Nightmare, so we're playing one Unicorn, because obviously, IP into Unicorn, shuffle back, you know the spiel, it's IP, she's great, Unicorn's great, we play these cards. We wanted to play Access Code, but we did want to try to keep this budget, so instead... <gasps> Bossorn! Thanks, he bud! Is. And then rounding out for our extra deck, we are playing double copies of Falgo Justice for Hire. This is our Fur Hire monster in archetype boss monster. It's a Link 3. It requires three monsters with different types, and it cannot be used for Link material, which I think is really, really silly. I think if they gave this card the errata to not be used with Link material on the turn it was summoned, that'd be more than fine, but who am I? I don't design cards. It says, if this card is Link summoned, you can special summon one monster for Hire with a different type than the three monsters used for its Link summoned from the deck in defense position. And then if a card your opponent controls is destroyed by battle or card effect you can draw one card then if you control three or more monsters for hire with different names draw two additional cards Whoa. this card is insane this card is just the best draw power in the deck it allows you to interrupt your opponent and draw cards plus it gets you a free body out of your deck this card is really really strong banana and that's it for the extra deck let's move on to a combo that's some justice if i've ever seen it. all right just a quick reminder as we shuffle these cards that this is not a tier one deck this is definitely still like in the tier three maybe even tier four category. It's kind of fun. It's got some really cool lines of play. We're just going to showcase that real fast for y'all. Also, be sure to enter the giveaway for Phantom Rage. We linked it somewhere in this video up on a card. You have until the end of today to enter, and we'll be announcing the winner on Wednesday. So be sure to go into the giveaway. It's super easy and in the video. So check it out. Enter. Win stuff. Woo. Thanks. All right, so let's get on with it. Here you go, pony. Drop. Oh, nay. It's me. I hope this is okay. Nah, we will see. A Dampa. Rhoda! Best card in the deck. A Search Recon. Right. A Philo. And our Tri Brigade Engine. Pretty cool. All right, this is probably one of the best hands out there. So, all right, we are going to activate our reinforcement of the army. We're going to search our beat from our deck to our hand. So we're gonna normal our beat here, then we can activate beat's effect to special summon one of the beasts from our hand. And then because that resolved, beat will now search. And here we'll search our Raphael. And now we can activate the Dampa to special summon our Philo. And then all of a sudden we have a beast, a warrior, and a winged beast on the field. We can link into Falgo and then we can activate Falgo's effect. So Falgo will then activate. 
special summoning our seal from our deck to our side of the field and then seal can special summon the recon from our hand which will trigger the seal adding back philo and then recon can activate special summoning the philo and then philo can activate special summoning the wrath from our hand which will then trigger the philo bringing back any monster for hire from our graveyard so just scooge these over and all of a sudden we have a huge board presence right now and then of course raf was summoned so we can activate raf's effect to excavate one two three four five cards with uh, different monster for hire names oh wow wow that's really really strong we're gonna grab the zephros because we already have access to our tri brigade engine so we're just gonna shuffle the rest of these back into our deck okay now we're gonna link two into an ip mascarena i will say just for like heads up that this is very very difficult to execute sometimes because of the zones these four higher monsters do special summon themselves out extremely fast so just keep in mind what zones you're going to use and also keep in mind that the tri brigades do lock you into like beast beast warriors and wing beast the whole beast family kind of thing but we haven't activated any of those yet so we are not locked into anything yet but we are going to go there right now because we are going to link these two into our ferrajit and then ferrajit will activate by special summoning a level four or lower beast beast warrior or winged beast monster from our hand to our side of the field. So now we'll activate the Ferragite to special summon our Tri Brigade Nerval, and then we can activate the Nerval's effect to banish beasts and beast warrior monsters in our graveyard to special summon our Ancient Warrior's Oath, Double Dragon's Lord, and wow. then we have one more summon in which we can perform. Oh, so Lord. we're gonna go from our beast and our winged beast into our Samord Bird of Sovereignty. And then we'll just proceed to the end phase where Samord will activate. Special summoning our Mist Valley Apex Avion directly from our deck. This looks fun. So what we have here is we have the Raphael, which has the ability to send a card from our hand to our graveyard to negate any monster effect. We have the Mist Valley Apex Avion. When our opponent activates a card or effect, it will just bounce itself back to hand to negate the activation. We have the Ancient Warrior's Double Dragon, which is a quick effect to send one card from our hand or field to the graveyard so it can send itself and return a card from our opponent's field back to their hand and then we have the ip mascarena in which we can just link off into a unicorn and have some more discard fodder which is really really strong so this is probably the best board that this deck can make it makes it relatively consistently sometimes you don't end on the ancient warrior link but you still end on a lot and what's really really cool about the apex avion is because it will bounce itself back to hand you now have additional discard fodder for your nightmare unicorn or for the Raphael. and we did search the zephros so we're able to put that in graveyard for a follow-up turn. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this to happen, but I'm glad it did so you guys could see all the cool stuff this deck can do. It's pretty fun when it goes off. Yeah, I mean, the Tribe Brigades kind of just let you cheat out Link Monsters really, really free, which is really cool. Again, disclaimer, this isn't the most competitive deck ever, but if you like Fur Hire and you like the new Tribe Brigade archetype and you want to try something fun, this is the spice for your life. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you had a blast. We hope you like the new deck. We have another Tribe Brigade build coming in real hot on Wednesdays. So if you want another more adorable archetype with Tri Brigade, don't you worry. Maybe it's my deck. It might be my deck. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a lot more in store for you guys when it comes to these Phantom Raid decks. And our case opening is going up tomorrow. So be sure to come back and watch us open an entire case of Phantom Rage. Don't forget to enter the giveaway from last week because we'll be announcing the winner on Wednesday. So fun Tri Brigade deck Wednesday, case opening tomorrow. Gold set Thursday, so much happening this week. You better stick around, but we love you. You matter, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Take it away, boys. Bye, friends. Have an amazing Monday. Bye. I hope your day is super filled with monstrous amazingness. Fur! Did you get a job yet, Trebles? No, I, I'm, I'm still fur hire. <laughs>